Do you think the words of a common person can change the lives of millions? Although this question may confuse some of you, I am sure most of you would have said no, because logically this is just one person. But this wasn't the case with Palam Kalyana Sundaram. This legend was inspired by his mother's teachings, one to be precise. It was to care about the poor people and to treat them like he would for the richest of the richest. So, listening to that lesson, he donated money from his earnings to the poor on a monthly basis. And soon after he retired, he donated 10 lakhs to the poor. There is another person who may not be as big as this man, but I think he should be introduced too. His name is Henri Panda. That's right. I am Henri Panda from class 7J in Elpro International School. So, how many of you can imagine a blind person painting a beautiful earth or at least a flower? Trust me, I was just as shocked as you are when I heard about a person who was the only blind painter in existence. This person's name is John Bramlett. No, this isn't a hypothetical story. John Bramlett has been painting since a very young age and in his teenage years, he realized that he wanted to be a professional painter, but at the same time, he was going through multiple conditions, which soon caused him to turn blind. And for some time after that, he had lost all hope to ever sing again, to, to do basically anything. But, at, but even through this period, one thing continuously struck him. He can't just quit his dreams. So he got back up and he tried different methods to understand which color he was using, which shape he was drawing. And during this period, he discovered something that would pump him up with hope once again. He realized that each color has its own texture and smell. So he used these two amazing features of colors to paint. And before he knew it, he had become a star and an inspiration to many others. I'm sure I blew your mind with the story of John Bramlett. But how about I take this one step further? I am about to tell you the story of a deaf artist. Again, not hypothetical. This singer's name is Mandy Harvey. Mandy Harvey has been singing songs written by herself since a very young age. But at the age of 18, she met with a rare illness. She was going through a pretty bad fever. And during this period, the nerves around her ear deteriorated. And for some time after that, she had lost all hope to ever sing again. But at some point of time, it hit her that she may not be able to hear her own voice. But that didn't matter. She wanted others to hear her voice, not herself. She wanted her voice to give happiness to the others. And that would give her happiness too. So she, so she got back up and she sang. She got a friend to be a translator to understand what the others are saying and then she sang. But how? This part is astonishing even to me, though I might be hearing it for the hundredth time. She used muscle memory. She knew how to pronounce all the words and letters with her mouth. So she used the muscle memory of doing so and she sang. But how does she know how loud or fast she was speaking? She used the vibrations of the ground to understand how fast or loud she was speaking. The faster she would speak, the spiky the vibrations would be. The louder she would be, the stronger the vibrations would be. But what about the chords? She used a chord visualizer to understand which chord she was playing. If you haven't noticed yet, in these two stories, I never said that their inspiration was making art or making music. It was because they were their dreams, not their inspiration. A dream is a goal set by ourselves to achieve in our life. But inspiration is the one that caused that dream or it might have even fueled you to achieve it. Many of you might have the dream of being an astronaut, but how did you get it? You have been living on Earth for many years and will continue to do so for many more. You look up at the sky and see more than just Earth. You read about space and see more Earth-like planets with just as much beauty if not more. 
you look around you see your everyday crowd humans everywhere but you get that feeling that there have to be others so these thoughts these inspirations are the ones that caused the that caused the dream of being an astronaut or it might have even fueled you to achieve it so your dream was being an astronaut and your inspirations were the people the sky the wikipedia pages everything can be an inspiration just think to go above it do better with it or many other things space one day i will go above it music i will do better with it nature i will protect it there are just endless possibilities to this because that is what inspiration is it is a voice a vision a feeling all of them a doctor who might have been inspired by seeing the deaths of a doctor who might have saved millions of lives today might have been inspired by seeing the deaths of millions of others every achievement made by mankind has started with an inspiration and these inspirations were always around us science and making progress in it people and the wish to protect them these all are inspirations and they have helped us to make our longest leaps inspiration is everywhere only if a person knows where to look and what to hear opening up yourself to the world is the only way to achieving your dreams the two legends spoken about today were quite inspiring too clearly inspiration with a dream can break logic into magic anyone can be inspired because all it takes is to look around be an active person setting goals and any and many more and many other things science politics art music dance and what not can be an inspiration clearly inspiration is everywhere only if a person knows where to look and what to hear and if blind and deaf people can do it then anyone can thank you